see how I curated this purple ombre look? Just keep watching. Hey guys, I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Eyebrow Pencil in Soft Black. And this is pretty much all I do for my eyebrows. It's pretty simple and easy. And to clean it up, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating uh, Foundation in 420. I'm going to use my MAC 212 brush just to clean it up. So the product I want to use is the Juvia's Place Concealer, uh, shade number 13. I'm just going to place this all over my eyelid and this concealer is going to act as a base for my eyeshadow. I don't know, like I said, I've been loving this eye, this uh, concealer lately. It's just a really good product. It's also affordable too. I think I want to say I paid $14 or $15. But I also used a discount code too. So the eyeshadow palette I'm using is a Huda Beauty Desert uh, Dust Palette or Amber, which is this rusted brown reddish color, and it's also a matte eyeshadow. So I'm taking this first color and applying it in my crease area for my transition. So now that I got my first eyeshadow color down, I'm taking, let's see, in saffron, which is this darker reddish brown matte color and just applied in the outer corner. And I'm just packing it in the outer corner first and then lightly sweeping it over halfway. And to deepen it up a little bit more, I'm taking this brown color here and just applying it in the outer corner. P. Louise Acid Rain, which is a purple shade in Evita. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid area just to give this eyeshadow place that I'm about to apply on top just uh, something to stick to. Eyeshadow base, I'm going to take the mixture of two of uh, Twilight and Retrograde and just mix these two eyeshadow and just pop it on my lid area. Both of these eyeshadows give more of a purple shimmery color, so I'm just going to mix the two. So I'm going to start by using my brush first and if it doesn't work, then I, like always, will use my finger and just press it onto my lid. So I'm going to take Amethyst, which is this matte purple eyeshadow, and just go in between those two colors. That way it give it kind of like a nice gradient effect. I want to take this brown eyeliner instead and then go back on top of the eyeshadow. So let's see if this works. And this is the support. Uh, eyeliner in dark brown. Dark brown eyeshadow is O-U-D and just smudge out the liner. For eyelashes, I'm using a Lily uh, Lashes in Hollywood. The Fenty Beauty Hydrating uh, Foundation in 420. Okay, so the next step I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. using the Fenty Beauty in Cashew. Uh, 
uh, Ben Nye Banana Powder and just go over top of that uh, Fenty setting powder. So I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender and just dip it into the Ben Nye and just press it on top. Fenty Matchstick Contour in Espresso. I've been reaching for my cream contour. Normally I don't use cream contours. I prefer the more of a uh, the powder contour. Going back in with my foundation brush just to blend it out. And one thing I do like about the Fenty uh, contour cream, it blends out so pretty. My MAC Mineralized Face Powder in Dark Deep just to set my face. I'm going to go ahead and just spritz my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Anastasia Brow Gel just to clean it up. A lot of times your eyebrows get messed up when you do your eyebrows first. I want to take a more of a peachy nude brown blush and I believe this one is copper tone artist couture highlighter and sugar daddy let's take your beauty blender dab it in and dab it on the back of your hand to get rid of any loose and just smash it It's coming up gold on camera, but it's kind of like a copper tone rose gold. Air Decay Eyeliner Pencil. And I just want to take a little bit of that P. Louise and just kind of draw a wing line. For the inner corner, I'm using Retrograde just for the inner corner. <laughs> 